Moon Pong versus Event Zero, tough decisions. I'm up for anything. I appreciate that, Colin. All right. Let's see. No, mer no motion blur this time. Also, no options. So, rip, uh, invert Y axis. Jump from here to quit. Jump from here to start level one. I'm not understanding almost anything of what you said. Um, all right. I'm going to attempt to use Google Translate. English to Italian. I'm sorry if it won't sound good, but at least we can try and bridge the gap here. Go to YouTube about me. Send the same key to that email and I'll cover the game. Okay. It's going to be horrible. At least we'll try and like bridge the gap here. Like, I'm sure it won't be perfect, but it maybe at least we can bridge this uh, translation issue. Oh, that's interesting. I like this, um, this dev's flair. Like, they've got a really interesting creative vision for games. And again, this game is like a dollar, so like, it's Pretty interesting. Use shift while moving to slide. Cool. So we got, again, kind of very mo fluid motion. Some surfaces can be destroyed by shooting it. Oh. Wait, what? It's very dark. Hello there. Uh, don't be so surprised. There are living things in the abyss too, you know. I saw your fall earlier. Very impressive. Uh, your kind can choose whether they fall or not. Strange. Anyway, do you want to go back? I know the way back. Um, I'm kind of stuck. Perfect. I can. I will. Go ahead. I'll go with you. I don't want to go back, though. I want to keep continue this way. Oh, I see. Back to not here. I, I got gotcha. you. Now I can't wait for another Tuesday. <laughs> is this event zero? This is not event zero. This is a, a, a the second game in um, three of, from this dev that whose work I really appreciate. Like they've they've got they've got some really interesting ideas. You shift to air dash. Wow. I think I took some health damage, or I took some, some damage. Jump on the light rail to ride it. Yo, we Sonic Adventure. Yo. I think we're like on a giant battleship or something. Oof.
What is that thing? Don't know, don't care. It's been here for like an eternity or two or three, whatever an eternity is. This armor looks like the palace's guardians in a giant crooked way. Seems pretty normal to me. You know what a guardian looks like? No. Keep the jump button down to slow your fall. Oh, I see. Oops. Okay. 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 This is cool. I, I really like this. You can just like dash kind of forever. All right, hold on. We've got a we've got a reply here. Let me let me see if I can't re untranslate this here or retranslate it. But I can't send you an email of the contact one. It tells me it's wrong. Do I have Instagram? It tells you it's wrong. What? It shouldn't tell you it's wrong. Let me double check this. You gotta you gotta change the at my 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 lad. Alright, I've put it in the comments. Probably a mistake, but I've done it anyway. The uh the email. Should work. Says they are big simple, they want to sell keys, the email is not for Right. But like they don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Gunlock just had a massive update. Maybe worth taking a look. I would like to 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 do that, um, Andrino. Last time I tried to stream it though, I did not have a lot of luck with it. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind trying. Oh, I should have been shooting those, maybe. we going oh uh, shoot an enemy's shell to break it we're we're fighting TVs we're attacking social media maximize your damage by breaking enemy shells okay Oh, we're enemy time. You can send fan art now if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Send me fan art if you if you feel the the desire. I appreciate that. That was that was always an option, I suppose. Wait, what? Stay in place and use shift to parry incoming attacks. I see.
I've known streamers that have uh, had like art segments on their stream where they feature fan art. I made a fan art for him, but it was quite unique. Since I'm not that into drawing, I made it with a mouse. I remember that. That was really good. Uh, what's the theme though? I should also do some art next stream because of based on a common theme. Um, I feel like it would be improper for me to suggest a theme. It could be uh, a funny moment from from this stream. What was a good moment? That would, that would imply there are good moments in my stream. Oh no. Nice, you got it. You could have helped me. Sorry, I'm no good with those things. So you can't fight? I can, I can, I just... not that. See ya. Goodbye. Bee swallowing. Theme could be a topic from last stream. I like this game. It's, this is a lot of fun. It's got a really nice uh, style. It's not nearly as, um, like, the last one was kind of hard to watch, but this is very, very pleasant, and it doesn't rely so heavily on, like, motion con um, blur and stuff like that. Welcome to the bro Broken Clock Town, even if I'm the one naming it and the one who broke it. You could also do fan art of some one of the games I played. Like, that's an option. The Abyss isn't underground. bit of a there's a lot of uh i think uh studio ghibli in this oh hello young lady if you're willing waiting for the train it's useless a fool broke the bell rope and without it impossible to call the train i didn't mean to pat skip Some of these animations are also really impressive. Like, they kind of uh, say school project to me a little bit, but I, I don't think that's necessarily bad. Like, these are very playable. I've never had a, like, a crash or anything like that, necessarily. So what now? Now? Where should I go? Oh, the bird. What? There's a bird at the center of the city. I fi find him, make him explode, and we can go right to the exit. But I can't go with you until you do it. Why? Because of the bird! I admire Bimple's patient with demo games and early access games. Honestly, I can't stand games with menus and a certain level of quality of life features. More train trauma. <laughs> 
What do you mean by train trauma? Oh, I see Midnight Subway. Talking about Midnight Subway. I don't know. I, I just like, you know, approach games as an art form. I don't really want to have that debate. But, you know, I think that sometimes, you know, there's just good and bad art. And if you approach games with a certain amount of like, well, where is the artist coming from? What is their perspective on the design of this? Then it helps to appreciate games a lot more. I also just like understand how much effort it is to make a game. So when I see a game that has like a certain level of polish, I, I kinda have to appreciate it. I'm not saying that a game is just good because it works, but it certainly is a big step, you know? It's not, not just that it works, it's also good, like it, it it's fun. It's fun, and then, you know, the next bar is has some kind of style to it. Like, is doing something novel that other games are maybe not. That I haven't seen a thousand times before. And I mean, is this game doing something novel that I haven't seen a thousand times before? No, not necessarily. But it's maybe something I haven't seen a hundred times. Sometimes... There's something to be said about um, taking a concept and giving it your own sense of uh, its own vo your own voice, you know, like taking an idea that you thought was good and doing twisting it in a way that feels original. And I think that this does. Uh, the view that view of yours about games is what makes you not enjoy copy paste games. That's pretty nice to understand. You're not talking Midnight Subway? You lads and lass will get your own share of train trauma soon. What? Oh, he's, he, I'm a tense talking about Library of Ruina. Also, I think, um... Something I do appreciate about this dev's work is that I, I know for a fact that this game will be pretty short. And I actually really appreciate that. I actually really like the idea of spending a dollar on a game that tries something original and unique and doesn't wear out its welcome, you know? I, I know I'm supposed to go in there, but I kind of want to check out what's up here with that exploration. Are there any more like that? Yeah, over there. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, maybe? Or maybe I am. Oh. Like, that's... I mean, it, it looks kind of janky, but I think that's really cool, actually. Talking to how Project Moon Train traumatized me with a lot of... I feel like I should... Like, every time Lobotomy Corp goes on sale, I think about grabbing it. But I just know I am probably not going to enjoy that game. I really like the music in this game. It, it like conveys exactly the right tone for this kind of world. Game kind of gives me uh, a um, Okami vibe. Am I supposed to do something here?
It gives me uh, like Nausicaa vibes, gives me Princess Mononoke vibes, and then like a little bit, I hate to say it, a little bit of Kingdom Hearts. And then, uh, you know, some Okami. There's a lot of influence in here. Am I supposed to come here? Oh, I think I'm supposed to shoot that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, if I'm being honest. I think I'm supposed to be like releasing those things or something. This is what RC games should be, not whatever Looker was. Looker was a parody. Looker wasn't an artsy game at all. It was parodying artsy games. Like, John, uh, John, <laughs> the witness is what, like, is, is that, is what it's parodying. And I think the general complaint about the witness is that it is trying to be artsy when in actuality it's just a very simple kind of puzzle game. Um, I like The Witness, so, you know, no comment on the quality there, but I understand where The Looker is coming from. The Looker, see, where The Looker um, kind of fails for me. Uh-oh, have I ruined this? Yeah, I think I have. Where the looker fails for me is it kind of becomes exactly what it's parroting. You know, it's guilty of its own crimes, of the of the same crimes as the witness. But I think that's the point, right? Like some of the puzzles get a little bit uh, opaque or obtuse, if you like. The looker was great though. Yeah, I mean, it, it really depends, like, it's funny. Um, and it's also free. <laughs> it really depends, like, you know, from a perspective of, like, we're all here and we're enjoying the same game kind of thing, it, it could rub you the wrong way, and I understand that, because it's like, you're, you know, if you are here to enjoy the stream, and you are forced to, you know, spend time with a game that you don't particularly enjoy, it, it can rub you the wrong way. I actually really like that. It's so, like, goofy and stylized that it, it, it actually works really well for me. I am taking a break. I liked uh, the light zone. I'm sorry we're past that now. Great, the egg is hatched. Now is the time to destroy the bird. What, but why? The door. Please just make complete sentences. The door is hidden in the core of the bird. That, that's better, maybe. If you say so. Oh no! No! Oh my god. I don't remember that attack. Welcome back, glad you can make it. Are these new enemies? Yes. The uh, shooting and like melee combat in this game actually works really well. I gotta say.
So now I believe I am climbing. Leaving for college. Thanks for the unique stream. Hope to catch you next week with Library Ruina. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a spicy one. Should be a lot of fun. Don't forget to dive head first when you are free falling to maximize HP damage done to the earth. <laughs> Fair. See ya, Andreno. Take it easy. We can draw Bimple making funny noises. What's a funny noise that Bimple makes? Oh. Oh, cool. Okay, boss time. Oh, is that the bird? I don't know what happened there. I don't seem to be doing any damage. Okay, there we go. No. Ow. Yo, and rat noise. Sorry, I'm, the camera is so zippy. It's because I'm not used to non-inverted. There you go. This is going to take a while, also. I don't know if maybe there's another uh, special power I'm supposed to be using. Ow. Ow. I could draw his character in the corner. That's just me. Oh, are we, are we almost done here? Yo, there we go. Yo. Bimple Rees. Do I re? Oh no. Oh, you can do like an attack out of the slide. Wait, what was that? I have a. Uh, I have to. I think I'm gonna be fighting this lad. 
Just ahead, but I don't think the gate will open that easily. There was a shrine here and a city, but everything seems to have been swallowed up by the dust from the outside. Don't worry, I set up a mechanism to lift everything up. I have a lot of free time. There you go. The best thing to do when you find out that you make a funny noise is to overuse it. I think I have to do something up there. Maybe the camera needs a little bit of stabilization. Is my only real complaint in this game. Going upstairs is a bit of a bummer. You know, I was really wondering about the outside. Is it big? Is it small? Colorful or gray? I just want to know. Confidence is key. Confidence is also a slow and insidious killer, so which one? What? What did I just do? That was weird. No, I wanted to be on top of it. Bong. This is a really pleasant game to uh, wander around in. What is something that y'all can can like to draw? I don't know. Art is dead to me. I did a lot of pixel art. Used to do a lot of pixel art. I have never done pixel art, so we have all three. <laughs> I do a lot of pixel art. I used to do pixel art. I've never done pixel art. My character, the idle animation is very strange. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think that is the idle animation. I think it thinks, like, I think the physics are janking a little bit, and my character thinks that they're falling. I think that's what's happening. Look at all that stuff. I do believe I have made ladder shooting possible. Oh, nice. Awesome. But now is it too easy? Now when I complete it, all of my efforts will be completely uh, invalidated.
I don't know where the last mechanism is. This is a very large space to have to search for mechanisms. I like to draw most things, but I'm very slow. For example, my profile picture took me like 20 hours. Wow. I did each of uh, the bimple animations in about an hour. And that's like all versions of it. Because, you know, if I know that I'm going to have to reuse assets, and I definitely would for something like a VTube, then uh, what I do is I make certain parts movable and like in their on their own layer. You can help, you can probably see that in like the little arms and stuff. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Show us up hard next week. I'm fine with it. I'll do a segment. We'll we'll look at all of the uh, artwork. Y'all are going to show me up, I know that's for sure. In the grand scheme of things, I'm not a very good artist. But I know that all artists say that, so... Probably a po totally po pointless statement. Here we go, found the last one. Yeah, see, my character thinks they're falling, which is really funny, because <laughs> they just stand on their head. That should be it now, right? Is there any reason to go over there? Maybe overestimating, but it took me a long time. Yeah, I understand that. Sometimes it feels like 20 hours. You are uh, all our cool people. You all do cool things. Thank you. I am assuming I'll be included in that. <laughs> Everyone but you, Bimple. You. Reject. Wait. What? I have something or something's bad to say, to ask of you. For, firstly, you must be aware, I'm a kind of a guardian, guardian here, like the other black things you fought before. Our intention is not to attack you. We're just wired to do this. And if you go through this point, I will attack you. I don't want to, but I will. And so? So here's my first request. Kill me, erase me, and escape from here. And the second one? You see the jar I have? My heart is inside of it. Once I disappear, take it with you to the outside. Why? Why not? I want to see your world. It's the only thing I want with my own will, so please. Here we go. Ow. Oh wait, his, his actual mask. They actually, you have a range on your, your range attack. You can't like just snipe them from afar, which is probably a pretty good design element. Do not animate as much as I think I do. Oh, look at that. That was good.
Oh yeah, there's the jar. Is that two ducks kissing? Take or absorb? Oh, that's an interesting moral choice. I'll take it. I'm assuming this is not a good thing to do, but I'm gonna do it. Imagine I got killed by uh, the door falling. It's an elbow bump, a thing youngsters do like to do nowadays. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does look like two ducks kissing. This is that one Dark Souls boss in, uh, what's it called? Um, An Orlando. Underneath An Orlando. The guy who's uh, attracted to his sister. Oh, that's pretty. Nice little game, honestly. I really appreciate that. This dev, um, you know, like, I, I disagreed with some ideas in the last one, but I still thought it was really stylistic. And uh, this one, honestly, I, I like this game a lot. Very short experience, but um, really well polished. Everything worked, and it felt pretty smooth. Music's really good. I wonder who does it say the who the composer was? <laughs> Combat could have been better, grumble grumble. I don't know. I don't I think there's something I was I wasn't really understanding about it cuz it showed me that I had powers in the bottom left corner but I wasn't really using anything like that I want closure on the the guardian heart thing. No? Hmm. I would have liked a little bit of closure on that. Like what what does taking the heart mean? What does absorbing the heart mean? So what is this? Start level 1. Are these just different levels? Yeah, okay. Nice little menu. It, it, the game could use some options though. But, you know, I, I always feel a little bit privileged if a game includes some uh, options or accessibility stuff. 
either way, really decent game. Solid. I'm really glad I, uh, I, 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 I tried that one. And look at that. We're, we're perfectly at 5 o'clock. So uh, next week we are going to start Library of Ruina. That should be really interesting. Um, looking forward to it. And we'll definitely have some more stuff for the feature segment. Hopefully the dev, that the, the Italian one, was able to figure things out. If they didn't, weren't, I'm, I'm sorry. 